am gender queer, trans mask, and queer. What's trans mask? Trans mask is like people under the non-binary umbrella uh, identifying I'm like dead. or presenting mask. I'm dead. Masculine? Yeah. I'm dead. What about you? Um, I'm trans and uh on my sexuality is unlabeled. Listen, you blue dinosaur! They all look the same! They all look the same! You can look at someone nowadays and immediately tell if they're fing mentally ill or not. Sorry, it's true. It's right there. It's right there. I mean the video speaks itself. I didn't I didn't even really have to react to it. But I'll stop your answer for you. To, to know what you are, pal, you're mentally ill. What is up, 3%? And welcome to volume number 35 of watching politically incorrect videos. Fair warning to anyone new to the channel, this is going to be a particularly offensive one. I did something that I haven't done since back when I first started the channel, and that is I actually skipped videos because some of them, there's just some people I'm not going to make fun of. I'll make fun of whites, blacks, Asians, Mexicans, and Down Center because one, they want to be treated like everyone else, and two, they could probably kick my ass with their superhuman strength. You are definitely going to get two stamps on your punch card to hell, so everybody buckle up as we dive in to episode number 35. My family fought to save their farm under this flag. Who was working that farm? My, My family was. was. Who was working the farm? They were poor. Do you know how much a slave cost back then? <laughs> Is that really the kind of argument you want to be making, bro? He's like, we didn't own slaves. We couldn't afford them. They were on our wish list, but, you know, <laughs> we just didn't have the money. We were poor farmers. The neighbors to the left had them. The neighbors to the right had them. But us, no. No Negroes on the farm. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course I have a million cups. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course I can transfer across the state. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course I'm always freezing. I'm a CHP dispatcher. We're prepared for everything. 4841, copy your in pursuit. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course, I always have snacks. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course, we have great benefits, pension, and salary. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the California Highway Patrol decided to make a... <laughs> I've worked at a call center before. This is pretty accurate. <laughs> Fat women. <laughs> I don't know what... I mean, you have to know I'm going to the comments. I mean, come on, Internet. Show me what you think of the California Highway Patrol advertisement. <laughs> All right. Y'all need to dispatch some salads. <laughs> Those chairs must be made of titanium. <laughs> Savage. CHP stands for Chips, Hamburgers, Pastries. Uh, the Internet does not disappoint. I'm a CHP dispatcher. Of course, I'm as wide as I am tall. <laughs> Someone dispatch fruit to the office. <laughs> Lying about the skinny one having all the snacks is crazy. <laughs> wow, I am sickened by the comments. These beautiful ladies go to work on a daily basis to help the people of California, and this is how they are treated? Thank you, CHP dispatchers, for always answering the numerous calls for help. You are all heroes. Keep up the great work, beautiful humans. And the response is, are you shaped like a CHP dispatcher? <laughs> 2024 Rams defensive line. The skinny one is the diversity hire by her waist, not her race. <laughs> they got a skinny hire. Like, Y'all too fat. We got to get somebody small in here. It's, my man just says, it's funny because they're big. <laughs> You're right. It is. Healthcare premiums got to be through the roof. <laughs> Athletic black men are lined up outside wanting to get in. <laughs> All the workers gave the skinny one their snacks for the video and then took them back. I just want to see the vending machine in this building. It's got to be glorious. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Thought I was having a stroke. <laughs> All right, that is actually really awesome, okay? Like, that's great camera work. I'm not even going to mess with the comments. These cats are cool in my book, although I do want to say one thing. These guys look like all three of my personalities. This is me thinking I look sexy. This is me to what I probably really look like to people. <laughs> and then here's me making videos for you guys. <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? You can call me steak knife cause I trim fat White knuckle, I make your skull buckle Best keep it silent like your fatty all buckle So what? I keep you know... They're dressed very well I'm sure that the internet had nothing but nice things to say KFC Final Boss The real Hunger Game Champions Man, the fact that they both can't fit in the frame together <laughs> Imagine the dinner bill! <laughs> My phone got heavier watching this. Closed by Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> the summer line. The spring line. BB&B. &B. <laughs> like a pair of monster truck tires. <laughs> okay. And I keep thinking, I just, the, the part that I can't stop thinking about is the, the, <laughs> her face was like, she was like, uh, I don't even want to. Uh oh, I don't want to know either, bro. <laughs> what are you telling the internet for? All right, we're gonna just keep moving. Posting about granny pleasing herself. Good lord. Is this like an OnlyFans or something? Humans should not be allowed, not all humans should be allowed to, what am I saying? No, no, you know what? Humans, keep doing what you do. You, you make for great content. I love how the video ends with her legs up in the air. That's beautiful. Did anyone else notice that she was making out with Shrek? What the f man? This was not an accident. She made this happen and then made this happen. Yeah, soak that in. Let that haunt your nightmares tonight. <laughs> Joey, please, for the love of God, stop. No, I had to see it. Now you will, too. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> right, I think this is the peak of humanity. Yes, Big Man 42, I completely agree. <laughs> Whatever this is, I support it. What if this was the only remaining evidence of humanity? <laughs> I know, right? Someone please give grandma her meds. Age, it's just a number. She can fix me. <laughs> This is one of those things when you rewatch it and you focus on a different person, it's like a new video each time. This may be the coolest party ever in the history of time. I'm not even gonna dog on them, really. I'm leaving it alone. Okay, I added that. <laughs> well, we got little people in the mix, so let's not waste any time and get ourselves to the comment section. I need to address something real quick before we move on to what I can only assume are the most awesome comments ever. When he's six foot, has a sense of humor, and calls me the hard R, what the hell's the hard R? I know he's not calling you the N-word, unless that's some kind of thing for you. Let's find out. Six foot, baby girl, that's a long distance relationship. Hard R, a rigid. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Little rigid. 
The internet keeps creating awesome words like retigger. Now we've got rigid. I love these hybrid words. Midger. <laughs> I'm still going with rigid. Hard R. A riddle person. <laughs> Rit Ah, eh, read this one yourselves. I don't, I'm tired of getting strikes. Cromer, Dwarfer, Hobbiter. The worst is having to go into a store for kids' clothes and saying it's for your girlfriend. Smash. Next question. <laughs> yeah, of course you'd smash, you sick bastards. We're at Sonics with the three amigos, Michael, Eric, and Michaela. Uh, Michael, what'd you get? Tater tots and the Oreo blast. Eric, what'd you get? Tater tots, cheese, and jalapeno. Ooh, that's all good. You gonna share? Sure. Now, Michaela, what did you get? I got an M and M blast. An M and M blast. This is my favorite. It's your favorite. What the hell was wrong with that girl's voice? You know, 3%, maybe we should just go ahead and skip this one, leave this one alone, because uh, that's psych, we're gonna totally read the comments. Michaela sounds like she speaks through a fan. That's what I was thinking, too. I f***ing hate you, Michaela. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not very nice. 0 for 3 is crazy. <laughs> that's savage, but hilarious and accurate. Imagine this is the one video aliens find of us. <laughs> she can disable the whole family, but not the comments. Oh, scorched earth, bro. <laughs> she disabled the whole family. Why are they all disabled? <laughs> Just crashed the car. <laughs> I can't describe this to a person in real life. <laughs> These are glorious. Felt something like wet and warm on my back. And so I grabbed my, I put my hand on the small of my back. And then I saw that it was like this gooey, you know, white substance. And I turn around and I see this guy looking at me and then he zips his pants up. She chased the man. Police say a witness saw the man drive off in a black Kia. Just no words. Dr. Sabine Lovell, a plastic surgeon here in Metro Atlanta, is still processing what happened to her during a trip to this Whole Foods on Peachtree Boulevard in Chambly Saturday. I see this gentleman walking down the aisle who's pretending to be shopping and he's holding a basket and he looked kind of like a normal gentleman, like late 20s, early 30s, nothing like extra suspicious about him. I regret nothing. Dude, look at the hole I made in my body. <laughs> Amazing. She turned into a man real quick when she hit that dirt. <laughs> Let's see what the internet has to say about Shim. Factory default settings. Lucky she didn't rack her balls. Right in the pronouns. <laughs> That's a real hole you left in the dirt. Unlike the fake hole you will never have. Ooh. They unlocked the hidden character. Thank God her balls are okay. <laughs> Oh no. I went to stay at this Airbnb and they charged for toilet paper. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Um, so I just did what anyone else would do and I left an upper decker and I taught him a lesson to not charge for toilet paper. Please don't show it. <laughs> Thank God, I didn't want to see the upper decker. I like how this guy's like, I just did what anyone else would do. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not gonna take a deuce in the tank of a toilet in an Airbnb and then post it on the internet? Speaking of internet, let's see what they had to say. 
Didn't have to show me, bro. I believe you. <laughs> right? I just did what anyone else would do. <laughs> That's what I said. That's like a very strange thing to say. Bro had to give us a demonstration. We believe you, man. Didn't need to show us that. <laughs> There's plenty of people saying like, dude, you could have just said you gave them an upper decker. We didn't need to see you dropping it. Yeah, this is so relatable. I hate it when my Airbnb charges for toilet paper, so naturally you do what any else would do and shit in the tank above the bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's normal behavior. It's what anyone else would do, right? The amount of young people here that don't know what an upper decker is bothers me. Really? Because it bothers me that you think everyone should know what an upper decker is. I, I find it very strange that you think an upper decker is common knowledge. Because until this video and me looking it up, I didn't know what the hell it was. And I've done some pretty depraved things in my life. Hey, what's up, my niggas? Don't forget to go for a run every once in a while. It's good for you. I keep seeing this guy posting videos on Instagram, and I think he's baiting people because he sounds so white. Mark Zuckerberg using his black filter. <laughs> Your inward pass is revoked. That's got to be racist some kind of way. <laughs> this poor guy's getting it. Who gave this white guy the inward pass? I mean, really, he sounds like a white guy. Look, what if it was me and that voice saying those words? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, my niggas? Don't forget to go for a run every once in a while. It's good for you. White women feel safe when he's running behind them. I'm offended by the way he said it, and I'm Asian. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day where I feel uncomfortable with a black person saying that word. And that's coming from a black guy. <laughs> Ew. I think he done... <laughs> deuced his pants. <laughs> Pretty big guy to be doing that. Hashtag life goals. You know damn good and well there's great comments on this. He kicked the shit out of himself. <laughs> Kung Fu. <-poo. laughs> Everybody was Kung Fu sharting. He can wipe the competition, just not himself. If you challenge him, you're in trouble. Taekwon doo doo. <laughs> Marshall Sharts. <laughs> That's great. Master of Jushitsu. <laughs> These are gold. I agree we should not be hating. On the other hand, he has shat his pantaloons. <laughs> My man said pantaloons. Does this mean he has a brown belt? Missed laundry month. <laughs> Add the watermelon sauce to the wings. Mix it! All done. Hold on! Hold on, that's good! Is this it? This is what I got all those ass whoopings for? <laughs> I don't even need to comment on this, bro. That is hilarious. I love that the black community, rather than be offended by this watermelon joke crap, they actually embrace it and have fun with it. That is what comedy is all about. Is this what I got all those ass whoopings for? <laughs> Thank you, my black brothers and sisters, for having a sense of humor. Just recently, after he pointed toward his crotch and yelled, suck it, at a female classmate. So when you say suck it, what are you telling somebody? It's just a gesture. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm not saying get your head down there and suck it he's not the only one out there his friends people you see you know you hear them in the stores uh where you go so it's uh not just him singling out doing it so we got a generation of kids yelling suck it yeah i think this is a wrestling thing i don't know i was never into wrestling past the 80s but uh <laughs> what kind of store is his dad going to where suck it is being said everywhere he's like you're out and about you're at the store you're at the church picking up your mail suck it suck it suck it suck it who the hell saying suck it everywhere <laughs> and look at the kid's gesture <laughs> and then he says it's not like i'm telling them to put their head down there what the hell do you know about putting their head down there and sucking it what the f kind of house are you being raised in <laughs> Ah, <sighs> I'm feeling a little musical. Johnny had a dream that one day he'd be famous. Yeah, he'd be a 
legend Told everyone about his dream Told all the other kids To put their tears into a bucket And suck it Yeah, suck it Won't you suck it Yeah, suck it Yeah, suck it Won't you suck it all right, everyone, that's a wrap for volume number 35. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making it. Don't forget to check out the Rumble. Don't forget to check out the podcast if you're into that kind of thing. And if you want to talk for any reason, whether to be say hi, you want to talk, or to send me a submission for a future show, it's don't call me white at myyahoo.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I respond to literally everyone. Until next time, I'm Joey Valentine signing off. America and the rest of you monsters around the world. I love you. Ah, oh, Rui, I'm a strong ghoul. Look at it. We are the 3% of